Yeah, I see. Um, so for the planets, sorry, the signs that we have that are square or opposite um, Pluto moving into Aquarius, and one of one of them is Scorpio. So Scorpio is actually square to um <clears throat> pluto moving into aquarius so that is a stressful you know we had taurus and leo we already talked about them but we have scorpio and we have aquarius coming up too that are making stressful aspects to that new placement of pluto so i do see this as a struggle in the family sector so whether it's like i know like a scorpio that just had a baby for instance you know what i mean there's a there's a lot of stuff going on and in the home you know there's a there's a lot of tension and you know and things too when, when we see squares we mo we are motivated to make a move so some scorpios can be moving some scorpios you know um just you know have to have to go out on their own um some you know like you said, the van down by the river, like there just has to be like a change of scenery and it, it's yeah. going to be like pushed. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so whatever that means for you, you know, but you have to somehow get out of what was going on at home before and you have to sort of make, I don't know, like, and, and it, uh, it is, it's not, doesn't look easy at all to me. It looks, you know, kind of stressed, but you wouldn't do anything to change if you didn't stress mm -hmm. about it. Right. So um, so you just want to, you know, look at your home situation in relation to your work situation. How, how's that work life balance and what are you going to have to do to change that home situation? Um, when we look at the, when we look at the, the eclipses, we are looking at the 12th house and the sixth house. So again, we're talking about day-to-day -day routine changing. Um, we're talking about, you know, um, maybe your even your health you know you're rethinking um because mercury is also going to so that could be a change in job as well or your day-to-day -day routine maybe you know you're staying home with a baby or you're doing something but um you're kind of changing the way that you're doing that day-to-day -day routine either health wise or work wise mercury retrograde in the 10th house and in the second house your status and how you're making money so these things are changing within you um, you're trying to figure them out. You're trying to make moves. Also, too, um, the Jupiter-Uranus combination, the wealth combination that's happening, is actually happening in a place of the chart for you that has to do with relationships. So this could be really good news for your partner. Sometimes when it's in this area, um, it means, like, you know, your partner can go up and, um, you know, have a stroke of luck or something like that. They, their income could increase. You could have an opportunity for a really good contract now. Um, you know, maybe you, you know, meet um, a business partner or a, uh, for the Scorpios that are single, maybe even, um, you know, a romantic partner as well. Somebody, um, you know, that is beneficial and does seem, um, you know, like a really good opportunity for you. And then Jupiter moves into the eighth house um, in May, and that really looks good for joint finances or for like any kind of, you know, grants or money, like stocks, things like that. So, um, you know, there might be a little bit of a boost there.